So I have this yard, you see, and uh, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to start having it mowed or, or mowing it myself or, uh, or doing edging and weed eating and whatnot. But I remember being a younger man and I remember doing a lot of uh, mowing yards and weed eating and things like that. And I got to say, it sucks. You know, you're constantly uh, surrounded by fumes and uh, gasoline and sometimes when you're talking about certain engine styles you've got to mix fuel and uh, I don't know um, a lot of people in my situation would probably just go the route of just hiring someone to do it that's not my style so let's go and see what we can do and what our options are if we don't want to have to go through all that craziness So where are we going? Uh, that's a surprise. No, we're not doing the surprise thing anymore. Oh, yes we are. Oh, uh, no, not surprises. Because I have something special for you. You've been on me. Well, not on, on me, but you've been mentioning that you want uh, me to take care of the lawn or hire somebody to do it or whatever. Well, I think it's a joint thing. I have found that our local hardware store, which shall remain nameless because they are not sponsoring this video. Did um, Jimmy Johnson drive for them once? I don't know. I don't. You know NASCAR? Yeah, yeah, you have no idea. You don't know NASCAR? You don't know? Yeah. Um, right. I'm more of a Formula E well, guy myself. Tony Stewart? So, our local, anyway. our local hardware store type place. By the way, we don't even have a local hardware store. We just have massive things where you can buy cars. Our giant chain. Cars. Our giant chain of local hardware uh -huh. stores. Uh -huh has something to help us out here. So, here's the issue, right? I feel like I'm old. Picture nails, you, they're picture hanging nails. No. We're gonna hang pictures. You and uh, Dad aren't old yet, but you know what? One day you might you might be. No, <laughs> if I live that long, I'm gonna be old. So I figured that what we would do is we would go and look at, and, and I know you're gonna tell me I'm crazy, electric lawnmowers That's just electric and cars, unless they were in one of those. Now, here's, here's, here's the thing. Wait a minute. Okay. We so had I'm one thinking... when I was eight. I had to lug that and that orange cord <laughs> behind me everywhere because my mother wanted an electric so, lawnmower. I'm not doing that In the last 40 some odd years, they have made awesome um, improvements. <sighs> um, Lithium ion batteries have made these really inexpensive and you, they're portable and they're battery but powered. They're banned on an airplane. Do you plan on mowing grass on an airplane? Never. Okay, then there we go. All right. We're gonna go, we're gonna look at this, and we are going to see what we can do, because we've got all kinds of, you know, somewhat, um, you know, uh, problematic stuff. We've got bushes at the house. We've got, um, yeah. we've got uh, stuff that needs edged. We've got uh, pine cones. So we may need some decent sized hardware, because this is your first spring in this house. That's true. So, uh, so what I think we need is a big strong man that owns a company to come cut the grass or or we could get a self-propelled lawn mower that doesn't have the, the, the they don't stink because no gas we didn't have to mix uh, the different fuels we just put the battery in and go but do you remember when you were a little younger and i said if you would take a lawn mower and put a seat on it with a steering wheel we would have a riding lawnmower. Is that your plan? You said self-propelled. How else is it going to be propelled? We got pedals. Are we going to pedal it? We shall see. All right. All right. Next clip. Grills and tables and American flags. Oh my! I am outside of Lowe's, and they have the ice or internal combustion engine mowers here. And I am hoping that maybe, just maybe, they might have one of the electric models out here. And no, they do not. Where are they hiding them? Let's find out. So I am standing here next to what most people would consider to be a standard lawnmower. This is a uh, Troy Built XP. Not a lot special about it, but it does have where you can have side, uh, you can have it side ejecting, rear ejecting, or bagging. 
and this one in particular is on sale special or something it's got the on the price tag it says other for reasons that it's on sale or reasons it's been reduced and it's they're selling it for 175 now 175 plus having to deal with the oil plus having to put like five dollars a week worth of fuel in it and the fact that it doesn't come with a warranty that bothers me does it come with the dog that's barking inside the green area maybe that's what i want to get into it's a we have to go find out if the dog's cute let's yeah, see if the let's dog's cute that. Here we go. If we really wanted to be eco-friendly, we could go for this one. This is a push mower, old school style. It just kind of like these spin and it cuts grass. But over here, this is an 80 volt, 21 inch deck. And this one's self-propelled. This one is not. Here's one by Green Works. This is a 60 volt. We got a 40 volt. And this one's actually uh, corded. So you plug that one in. Would you look at that? They even have 40 volt um, weed eaters. So I've just found out that this is a real thing. This is not a joke, this is not a gag. This is essentially a Roomba for your lawn. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I'm starting to lose all faith in humanity. So as we look into this, we are finding one glaring issue. A lot of these, uh, these older style gasoline um, blowers also will bag or, or suck the leaves or other miscellaneous yard debris up, but none of the electric ones seem to have that capability. And I'm wondering why, por qué, I don't get it. This thing looks really like futuristic. Like, look at this. It just like, they've cut it in a way, all the lines, all everything, it just, it looks like something would be attached to someone's arm and they're blowing you away. So here's the deal. Uh, we decided not to get everything we were going to get today, and we got one thing which I am going to be testing probably as soon as we get home. Ah, uh, it's raining. It's not going to stop me from trying to play with it. You can't play with it on camera. Dun dun dun. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, mothers and fathers, small farm animals, an hour and a half later, we will turn out. And I would like to, this is not actually what I want to show you. This is something to pick up dog poop. I soon have a job to do. That job involves blowing leaves. And also I should do an unboxing. Should I do an unboxing? I might be on my other channel though. So what we've decided to do is we are going to uh, take this tarp, we're gonna lay it on the ground. We're going to blow all of the pine cones and leaves onto this tarp. And then we're going to then like roll the tarp up and then like, just dump that into dump a bag or something. Because apparently, and I was right, on the market right now, as far as what's available to most consumers, there is not an electric blower that can bag or, or whatever, unless it's corded. Now, as far as cordless ones, you can't do that. All right, Anthonites, I have my new toy. And I just got done testing it and doing a review for my other channel, my gaming channel. So now I figured I would let you see my job that includes blowing. So I think this will work for my needs. It may be a little bit more expensive than the uh, internal combustion engine or ice or, you know, uh, gasoline version. But I mean, I don't have to mix anything and it's really nice and powerful. I'm gonna go deal with this dog over here who wants to bite wood. And <laughs> Till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe and do all those things that make me love my job. Also, be awesome to yourself and amazing to each other.
Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you'd like to watch more content, that's on screen now. Also, if you'd like to support this channel, you can find a Patreon link at the lower right-hand corner of your screen. Next vlog?